What does watts mean? How many watts would you recommend as well for different musical situations? Say like a small kind of coffee shop type gig, kind of medium gigs like maybe pubs, weddings, that kind of venue, and then also like larger shows like theatres or festivals. Well, I mean, simplistically, watts is a measure of output power of your amplifier. It's not a measure of the output of your speaker. Let me put it another way. Speakers are really, 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 really inefficient. A speaker is a few percent efficient at best. If you've got a 100 watt speaker or a 100 watt amp going into a 100 watt speaker, the amp can be putting out 100 watts. The speaker, if say it's a really efficient speaker, it might be 3% efficient, which is appalling efficiency for anything else, but really yeah. good efficiency for a speaker. That means you get 3 watts of sound and 97 watts of heat. Wow. Wow. Which is rubbish. Yeah. And if you have a, a less efficient speaker, a difference in efficiency, if you go down three decibel sensitivity, that's like halving your efficiency. So it gets really, really bad. So you can end up saying, oh yeah, uh, 100 watts will get you this loud. It won't, because it's all about conversion of that 100 watts of electrical power into acoustic power. And the problem is most of it just comes out as heat. So like the actual quality of the speaker, you have to kind of think about that when looking at the watts? There's this thing known as Hoffman's Iron Law. And what Hoffman's Iron Law says, it's pick any two of three. And the three things are efficient, small and deep in terms of frequency response. So if you want a speaker that is efficient and goes deep, it can't be small. Yeah. And when I say speaker, I mean the, uh, the size of the system, the size of the box with all the speakers in it. I'm not saying you have to have an 18 inch speaker. You can have an array of five inch speakers. It just has to be a big system that, that's designed to go deep, yeah. can be efficient, but you can't make a small speaker that goes deep and is efficient. It's impossible. There's a reason why arrays at uh, subwoofers are huge. But it's also a reason why the subwoofer you might put in your car can go really deep because it's, it's actually not going that loud because it doesn't have to fill a big space right, with yeah. sound. So when it comes to wattage, how many watts you need, it's a really, really, really hard question to answer. 